Hi friends, in this video we will see what Ansible is, Ansible basics and best practices, how we can install Ansible and create ad hoc commands and also how we can create Ansible playbooks and run them. So Ansible is an open source automation engine which can be used for automating server provisioning, configuration management and application deployments etc. Uh, it does not follow the master and agent module, so you don't have to install separate agents on all your servers for the Ansible to work. It's very easy to deploy and most importantly it uses a very simple language which is YAML for Ansible playbooks which allows you to describe your automation jobs in a simple to understand way and approaches plain English. So to start with, we will install Ansible on a Red Hat 7 machine. Ansible is installed. Let's see the version. So now that Ansible is installed, let's see an important Ansible file which is the inventory file. Ansible inventory file is a simple INI file that contains a list of servers on which the Ansible commands will get executed. The default location of the inventory file is slash etc ansible hosts. So this is an example of the file. It contains groups so you can have a group of web servers and then either the host name or the IP addresses. So basically this file will contain all the list of servers that you want the Ansible code to run on. So let's enter one of the servers details here. I have this node 2 which is a Red Hat 7 server. So I'm just entering the IP address in the inventory file. By default Ansible connects to remote machines over SSH. You can use passwords to connect to remote machines but SSH keys with SSH agent are one of the best ways to use Ansible. And root logins are not required. You can log in as any user and then su or sudo to any user. So now that we have added this IP, the node 2 IP to this Ansible machine, let's try and run a simple ping module which is an inbuilt Ansible module to ping node 2 machine from this node 1 machine. So to do that, run ansible all hyphen m ping hyphen hyphen ask pass. So this all in the command means that it will run this particular command on all the servers that are listed in the inventory. Hyphen M stands for the module. So ping is the module which we are using here. And ask pass will ask you the password for your node 2. So the SSH password. So what happened here is lap1 machine or node1 machine sends a ping request to your node2 machine. The result is a success and node2 responds with a pong message as shown in the output. Ad hoc commands are useful when you want to perform some quick actions on the hosts, one line commands such as checking ping response or shutting down some machines etc. But the true power of Ansible is in its playbooks. A playbook is composed of one or more plays and plays consists of multiple tasks. So let's see how a playbook directory structure looks like. So this 
sample playbooks this is our directory structure to make it easier you can see the tree format so the site.yaml file is the top level file which is used to include other playbooks so for example here we have the nginx playbook let me show you the content of each file. So this site.yaml file includes the nginx.yaml file. We can include multiple files here. So this nginx file defines the group which is web web servers and in under this web servers group we have defined a list of hosts on which our playbook will run so let's see the env host file so i have created a group here called web servers and the ip is the ip of node 2 which i have mentioned here next we have the roles so we have defined a, a web role uh, named as nginx. So if we go to if we go to roles web nginx, we have tasks directory here. And in that task directory, we have our main.yaml file. So this, this main.yaml file is the, is the most important file which has all the commands that you actually want to run while installing or configuring Nginx. So it says that you're going to install Nginx using yum because we are installing it on a Red Hat 7 server. The state is going to be present and become equal to yes, which means that because we are running it as user, so we need sudo to root permissions to install Nginx using yum. So that's the reason we are saying yes, which means that user will sudo to root while running this yum command. Next is to create a web root directory. So the path is var www.html where a directory will be created. And then we are going to copy the index.html file which we have in our um, uh, template folder. This file is going to be copied to this location. And lastly, we are going to start the Nginx service and we are going to enable it so that it starts even after the server is rebooted. If I go to files, So this is the index.html file that I have created as a test. Now we can just see how to run this Ansible code. So this is the command Ansible playbook hyphen I. So here you will mention the inventory. So like I mentioned before, we have created a host file in env directory which contains the ip address so that is the ip that i have mentioned here next is our site.yaml file which is the top level file hyphen hyphen check will not actually run the ansible code it will just check and show you what commands are actually going to be run so this is a very helpful tool if you want to just check what you're going to run on the server before actually doing any changes an ask pass is to uh, enter the password for your uh, server if you haven't configured passwordless SSH. If you, pa if you have uh, configured SSH, passwordless SSH, uh, you will not have to enter the password every time. So I need to be in this directory where the site.yaml file is present. Now, if I run the command and enter the password for the node 2, okay. So, here it is showing me all the 
commands that are going to be run so we luckily we haven't got any errors here or else they would have uh, shown in red so what we are doing is installing nginx creating the web root directory copying the custom file and we are starting the nginx service now let's run the same command without the check so we are going to actually do all those commands all those changes so if you see it's taking a little time here because it is actually installing so now the ansible playbook run has completed and if you see there are total five changes that have happened uh, during the installation and configuration of nginx let's see on the server if our nginx is installed and working correctly yes the process is running and if i do a curl yes that's our test index page so if you see with this ansible playbook we we have installed and configured nginx on the node 2 server That's all I have in this video. Hope this was helpful. I have uploaded the sample playbooks folder to the Git server and I will provide the link in the comment section. Thank you.